but I love him all the same. Hello lovelies. Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. I am Sosa's mama. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you, thank you to all of my 33 subscribers. Guys, you, you rock. My channel is growing and I'm excited. I'm so thankful for this little beginnings. I thank you. And for those of you who are yet to subscribe, I know some people are actually watching my video and they're not subscribed. Guys, come on. Support a sister here. Do what to subscribe and be sure to hit the notification button when um, so that you'll be the first to get um, a notification when I post a video. Come on, guys. Thank you. Thank you once again. So, yeah. Today, I want to talk to singles. Single moms, single girls. So if you fit that category, sit back and relax, grab a bowl of popcorn and just let us have a little chat, okay? So um, for those of you who don't know, I was a single mom for about 10 years. Yeah, that's a long time. And within that time, I to me, I felt like that was my moment to just allow God work through me and just help me understand myself because Prior to that, I'd kind of had a lot of struggles just with my, with who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing on this earth. So, and I thank God for those moments. But within uh, within that time or within those years, a lot of things did not go unnoticed. You know, like you have you have pressure from um from the society because of your age, and you have pressure from your friends and family. Don't get me wrong, families they love you so much; they want the best for you. You know. Uh, countless times where my family would have kind of you trip me made me feel like oh all you do is just pursue school and focus on your daughter you don't have time for other things you gotta do that you gotta do that and yes I took their advice I tried you know like going out on my own trying to find ways to help God quote unquote I went as far as um talking to a friend at one time I'll never forget this I shared this at the women's conference once and that everybody went what and I, I called this friend and I was like, oh, come on, you know, you guys, you know how you do all of these things. Come on, hook a sister up. And you will not believe what this friend, yes, a close friend, told me. And he was like, ah, you know, for, I mean, it's harder to find guys for my single friends, single girls, let alone for you that is already a single mom. I was like, ouch. That hit me like deep down in my heart and I was like, okay, do you blame him? I don't blame him. He's being honest. It's what the society has put out there, you know. It's like single girls have it hard enough. Then you are a single mom coming with a baggage. Nobody wants you. So like I just kind of took that in, but I kept doing my thing, pursuing God. But I'll share with you one advice that kind of to me came as a confirmation that helped me stay where I was at the time. And it came from my pastor's wife, believe it or not. We had this morning where we sat down, we're just talking. And I told her the pressure of just being a Christian single mom and having to stay faithful and do all that. And she told me this thing, which I want to share with you today. And I hope as a single mother, as a single girl, you can take this with you. And she told me, Rachel, look at me. Um, God knows what you need. He knows all about you. He knows that best person who is for you. So if you can just stay where he has planted you and serve while you're waiting, God will make everything work out. Guys, when she said that, thing, I took a deep breath. It felt like, whew, that's what I've been looking for. I mean, I've been waiting to hear from somebody, not somebody telling me that I was doing something wrong or I wasn't putting enough effort out there for this man to find me. So I took that. I'm sure my pastor's wife, she, she didn't really know how much in, of an impact she made to me, uh, made on me that day. But guys, I took that away and I was like, you know what, Lord, I am going to serve you like I've never done before. And I got to the point, I was like, Lord, even if you don't even give me a man anymore, <laughs> I'll be okay. And the moment I came to that point, guys, God just made everything fall in place. And... Yeah, I know I talk about my husband a lot. The way my husband came in, God did not just only bring a godly man to me, he brought a man that has never been married before, has never had children. So, so yes, if God can do that for me, guys, I want to encourage you. God knows what you need and he will bring the right person for you at the right time. If you will just stay in a place where he has planted you and serve. So, um, I just wanted to share that and encourage somebody today and I leave you with this, um, 
word in Psalm 37 verse 4. It says here that um, take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. Take delight in the Lord, guys. Enjoy being in God's presence. Enjoy being where God has planted you. Enjoy serving God. Come to a place where it's like where you tell yourself, God, even if you don't do anything else for me, I just want to be here serving you. Trust me, that's the best place, place to be. And while you're there, when you are there, while if you are there with your whole heart, God will search you out, sister. I just want to share that with you today. Thank you so much for listening. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you. Bye.